Allison, that's right. In fact, here at Cypress Creek High School, right up front, they got the signs. They are ready to rock with these new rules that go into effect today. Basically, they impact what type of bag that you can bring to a game. So here's what you need to know. This is what is allowed. Clear plastic, vinyl, and Ziploc bags. What isn't allowed are backpacks, fanny packs, duffel bags. Basically, if it's clear, you can bring it. If it's not, you can't. Now, there are a few exceptions. If you have any medical items, diaper bags or professional camera bags, you can bring those, but just keep in mind those are subject to being searched. And a lot of people have been asking, what about student athletes? Yes, they can still bring their athletic bags, but again, those are subject to being searched. Now, if you're worried that it'll add a lot of time to get into the game, officials say there is another lane for people coming to watch the game who don't have any bags at all. You'll be able to get in pretty darn quickly. And the table where they do check bags is out of the way from the crowds as well. Now the new rules went over a few other things that you really shouldn't be bringing to games anyways, like weapons, drugs, glass, fireworks, coolers, things along those lines. And Pasco County officials say, again, these new rules are in response to two violent incidents that happened at high schools in Florida. So they're really hoping that these changes will help keep everyone safe. Now again, it is early. I know we haven't seen any lines just yet, but the game starts officially at 730. Reporting live in Pasco County, Candace Aviles, 10 News.